this is Brandy Murray with ScrapGirls.com and this is tutorial number five um, brought to you by Scrap Girls for their sixth anniversary celebration. And what we're going to learn today is about using groups and how they can benefit us when we're doing digital scrapbooking in Photoshop. Now what a group is, it w is that it's what you're doing is you're taking several layers and you're grouping them into not really one layer but one group that you can turn off and on and move around by itself and that way with if you're like me and you have a million layers or many different layers in your Photoshop document you can kinda condense it down so you can kinda see what you're working with so how we're gonna do that is I wanna group all of these layers in this photo cluster at the bottom and to do that I'm gonna click on the layer at the top hold down my shift key and go all the way down to everything that is included in that. Now you'll see a little uh, set of three lines and a little arrow in your layers palette and if you just click on that a window pops up and you want to choose new group from layers and you want to give it a name so you know what it is. So I'm going to call this photo cluster and you can even change the color so you're going to hit OK and you can see now that this groups all of those layers into um, an outside folder so that you can move it around. If you click the little arrow beside the group you can see that it will collapse and uncollapse and that all that your layers are still there it's just that they're grouped together in another folder to keep you from having to look at all of the different layers as you scroll down. Now in order to move your group around, if you look at the top of the screen um, when you choose your move tool, you'll see a little drop down box beside the auto select that says group and if you drop down it'll, it'll say layer or group. If you select group, anytime you move this group around it will move together. So this is good if you want to reposition it on the page. Now if for some reason you find that you need to adjust something within that group what you're going to do is change that to layer which means select it by layer and now I can click like on this little fan and and readjust it if I need to click apply and then when I'm done I want to change that back to group so that way everything is linked back up together again now you can have absolutely more than one group in a Photoshop document and this is just kind of a technique that I wanted to show you that I like to use a lot to keep from having to go through all of those layers when I'm working on a document. So that's the tip for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.